This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. All right, everyone. I hope you're all doing fantastic. I know today's weather here in Newcastle, at least, absolutely lashing it down. Anyway, what can you do? So, I'm going to give everybody a quick update as to what's going on with the whole Fury Joshua saga. Frank Warren did an interview today with IFL, of course, where he pretty much said that Team Joshua have until today to decide that they're going to accept the fight with Tyson Fury. Of course, he was asked a question about December 17th, but he seemed to skirt around it for some reason. Because again, Eddie Hearn said that he knows December the 17th is booked by Queensbury, as in the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, Wales, 80,000 capacity, because he tried to preliminarily book it himself for a potential Anthony Joshua fight. But they told him, you can't have that date because Queensbury have booked that stadium. Frank Warren was asked about it. He seemed to skirt around it. Anyway, the main point is Tim Joshua have until today to make a decision. Anyway, Tyson Fury followed up with some points himself where he says that, again, Tim Joshua have until today to make a decision and there never has been a December the 13th day. So either Tyson's lying on that one, or Frank Warren hasn't told him, or Eddie Hearn got misinformation, or Eddie Hearn's lying. Whichever one you want to choose. Anyway, he says that the only options are November 26th or December the 3rd. November 26th will be at Wembley Stadium. That's very, very risky. Obviously, it's open air, but of course, there is more capacity there. There's uh, 94,000 potentially. Or the Millennium Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, which is 80,000 with a roof on December the 3rd, so one week difference. Um, again, it seems to be a lot of rush, doesn't there? There seems to be, um, when it comes to Joshua, it seems that uh, Frank Warren and Tyson Fury are in a hell of a rush to get Joshua to agree to things and whatever else. Even when um, it was Eddie Hearn and Joshua trying to make the fight, initially, they kept putting time frames on them. They kept putting time frames on Joshua. Get us a contract by this date. Get us this done. Get the venue date. Get us the money in escrow. Get this, get this. Listen, we all remember Tyson Fury doing the whole TikTok and all that kind of stuff. If it ain't done, I'm walking away and whatever else. He never does it with anybody else. Doesn't do it. Didn't do it with Wilder. Didn't, he just doesn't do it. But with Joshua, everything seems to be in a hellacious rush, which I don't really understand because at the end of the day, he was quite happily retired, was he not? So what's suddenly the rush now? I don't know. But again, there's apparent, one of the reasons why Tyson Fury doesn't want to fight on December 17th is because he wants to be fighting Usyk in February. So that extra two weeks between December and, uh, sorry, December the 3rd to December the 17th is vital for Tyson Fury to help him prepare for Alexander Usyk in February. That seems to be one of the things. So, two weeks are vital to Tyson Fury, but those two weeks are not important to Tyson Fury when it comes to Joshua. Even though Joshua has literally just been through a hellacious training camp, right? Anyway, what can you do? It just seems that they seem to be in a, in, a, in a big, big rush. I'm starting to sense that they actually want Joshua to turn it down, just so they can go, well, we offered him the fight. He said no. That's why we're fighting Manuel Char. That's the impression I'm starting to get. I don't know what the big rush is. I mean, surely you can allow a few days to have like a little bit of backwards and forwards between, um, is it George Warren and Eddie Hearn? Obviously, 258 management is going to be involved and whoever else. Do some negotiating, you know? And if it comes to a point where it's December the 3rd or nothing at all, I imagine that Anthony Joshua will probably accept December the 3rd. I mean, I wouldn't want to put words into his mouth. I don't know. But it's better than the initial offer of... November the 12th, which is absolutely madness. And it's also better than November 26th, even though there's only a week difference. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So I'll just give everybody a, uh, a bit of an update that the pressure's on for Anthony Joshua to accept. And it does seem as well that Tyson Fury, for some reason, he put out when he was saying about that uh, there's no such a date as December the 17th and whatever else, that also he was saying that he hasn't heard from Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua hasn't put out on his thing. In other words, he wants Joshua to come out on social media and publicly accept it. Very, very reminiscent of when Wilder said to Joshua, 50 million in the bag, you've got 24 hours to publicly accept it. These people just want Anthony Joshua to talk about them on his social media for some reason. That's not how fights get made. Fights get made 
behind closed doors, do they not? Joshua doesn't need to come out on social media. Listen, I'd love it as an uploader, of course. That's extra content for me. But that's not how fights get done. Seems that uh, Fury, much like uh, Wilder previously, very, very desperate for Anthony Joshua to mention his name. Even though Joshua told Tyson Fury a couple of days ago, I don't do negotiations on social media for clout. We do it behind closed doors. You contact my management team, 258, and we'll get it done. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.